More and more devices nowadays use USB Type-C cables, laptops, smartphones and other smart devices. And especially smartphones use more and more power to charge them. And of course, you, if you want to get data off your smartphone, you have to have a good USB Type-C cable so it can reach the fast speeds to get massive amounts of data over to your laptop or from your laptop to your tablet or smartphone. So it's very important to have a good USB Type-C cable and this is why probably Inu, uh, sent, Inu sent me this here which is a USB Type-C cable and this is a special one because it can charge up to 60 watts and supports various different Pixel, Huawei and so on devices for fast charging as well. So I will start now the unboxing and review of this cable. Probably there are even two cables inside here and uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's get this unboxed. Uh, as you can see here in the box, it's the first safe fast charge pro in the USB-C to USB-C cable DI D5CC 60 watt. This is exactly uh, the uh, dedication or the name that you have to search for if you want to find this. Otherwise we have a pretty slim box. On the back we get some service information. Three years of a warranty as usual from Inu. They have good warranty. And uh, let's open it up and let's see what is inside. So here we go. As I mentioned earlier, two USB Type-C cables and a welcome guide for the USB-C cable. I never saw a welcome guide for USB-C cable, but here you can see again the cable itself. And as you can see here, it probably has also a nice little uh, option to close it up so you can get it uh, yeah, in your pockets or something like this when you are able to go on vacations again, you can use it in. We have up to 60 watts, here are the specifications, up to 480 megabytes per second data transfer speed, and it's nylon braided, which is pretty awesome because this means it will hold on, on for a long time, and this is why you get also three years of warranty. Do we have anything else? The same in different languages. And uh, let's unpack one of them. And the rest, the other one, is probably ex exactly the same. So first of all, what we see here, this is really proper, good quality. As you can see here, we have a nice little lip where we can have various different options to close this up even. So if you don't want to use this, if you say S is too big for me, uh, this close up doesn't fit into my backpack, you can make it even tighter and then use a different kind of way to um, tighten it up. It's also really holding on to this pretty hard. So here we go. This is the cable. It's pretty long. I'm not sure how long it is. It's outside of the view field already, but it's getting pretty long. So you can also use it as a um, cable for your laptop, for example. This should work pretty nice if you have a USB Type-C to C uh, uh, connector for your laptop or yeah, power plug basically that accepts USB Type-C. Otherwise, we have the usual USB Type-C here. Uh, as you can see here, proper handled. We have something written here, fast charge 60 watts is written here, as you might see. And uh, yeah, it feels solid. It's plastic here definitely, but it is feels solid. So will not break so, so fast. And look at this nylon braided like uh, cable. I know black on black is probably hard to see. but it feels very, very nice. It will not tangle up so fast and quickly, I can imagine. And if I want to fold it in a different way, let's fold it maybe like in a very compact way. I'm doing this off camera. It's a bit easier. And uh, then I can, I should be able to, uh, where's the lip of this thing? Yeah. Like you can fold it even like this. I know you shouldn't use cables and fold them probably like this, but if you have to do it for for a time or for for traveling, you can use this uh, connector here to 
uh, fold it up just so we go in here and you have the various different options here uh, to fold it up the way that you want to and unfolding is pretty easy as you can see here and yeah what I want to test and try out right now is if I can fast charge my devices with this USB T USB C cable so let's see you see I have a bunch of phones here that I want to perform a charging test with and uh, we will start with uh, I've, because the cables are so long two meters I have no issues with um, using those cables here so this one is the 30 watt charger so this one is connected to a 30 watt charger so that means uh, from the left to the right I can charge things up so LG wing for example I just plug it in and we will see what will happen it says fast charging and uh, 58 minutes until it's full so I'm not sure if you can see it Let me show it to you here fast charging it's showed for a second there we go fast charging so 30 watts working I think it has only 22 watts or so 18 watts charging but with a 30 watt charger you can do definitely fast charging this is in uh, Xiaomi Redmi no, Xiaomi um, 11 Lite 5G NE let's see 30 watt quick charge it says so it is also quick charging here with uh, 33 watts probably because this is what the device can do I think the charger can also do 33 watts so this should work fine otherwise it's charging with 30 watts or something similar then the Sony because it's a Sony charger let's try out the Sony one should definitely work with the Sony just Sony just says charging it just doesn't say how much you're charging but uh, this one can charge up with 30 watts so I guess it is getting the 30 watts here and uh, then of course I can also plug this in the 30 watt charger into my Huawei Mate X S but this will only charge with normal speed I would say yeah it's charging normal speed as you can see here but I have of course the second charger and this one is connected to the 60 this one here is connected to the 66 watt charger from Huawei I know that um, the cable only supports 60 watts maybe it can support 66 watts but uh, the Mate XS only supports charging up with 55 watts so this will definitely work with this one so if I plug it in you will see that we get super charging here so the super quick 55 watt charging on the Mate XS so one last try 66 watt charger the cable is rated for 60 watts um, Huawei P50 Pro let's see if it can charge up with 66 watts or not uh, no it cannot charge up with 66 watts so 66 watts 67 watts wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a second maybe it can it takes just a bit longer let's plug it in again because I saw something I saw something in the charging animation took took a bit longer but let's take a look if it goes up to 66 watt yes supercharging so it is supercharging as well so even though it says it cannot really charge it takes a while but even with a 60 watt cable you can charge 66 watts on the p50 pro it is super charging so we should see the percentages going up let's go to the battery maybe and see where do we have the battery if it's charging up yeah super charging it says and approximately 39 minutes for fully charging so maybe it's not pushing the whole 66 watts but 60 watts 55 watts what the Mate XS can do but still it's a good value and it's so fast that you don't really notice that and having a two meters long cable I think is pretty pretty handy uh, not only for this kind of things because now comes the real challenge <laughs> the real challenger basically and I never tried that before because I didn't have a cable that worked that had this rating uh, is I will get my where is it my laptop uh, my laptop ready uh, with a dongle of course because we're living in a dongle world uh, and now what I want to try out is uh, first unplug this one here because this is good in charging times is trying to charge my laptop with this cable 
I know 66 watt um, is the charging brick that I have connected to this cable. This one has a power brick that usually charges with 65 watts. So can this cable, which is rated for 60 watts, charge my laptop? This would be awesome. So let's first open up the laptop. And I'm not showing you everything probably, but just the bottom here. Okay, of course it is charged already with 95% only. So you might see here in the little, wait a second, this is, I can unplug the dongle and because this is a laptop that can do such a trick, I can show you this even better. And now here in the bottom right corner, you can see now the battery. Don't mind if it's in German, it doesn't really matter for this little test. We have a long cable, so I just have to find where to plug it in. Now that is in tablet mode here. So plug it into the corner and see if it works or not. This doesn't seem to work. So this is a bummer. So for the laptop, sadly, it's not working. Um, I could have imagined it working a little bit at least, but it's not recognizing this power brick. Maybe, maybe it's the power brick. It's a 66 watt power brick from Huawei. And uh, maybe this one is not recognizing this. But the cable should be able like to perform only 60 watts, up to 60 watts. So maybe it's not getting the whole power that it needs. So charging the laptop sadly doesn't work with this cable, at least if you don't have a laptop that maybe has only 40 watts of, uh, or 45 watts that it needs, but mine needs 65 watts. So it needs a 65 watts uh, power adapter for it to work. So it sadly doesn't work with the cable. Otherwise the cable worked reliably, um, charging without issues. You saw that even the Huawei P50 with 66 watts can be charged here with this one. Pretty awesome, pretty cool, and fast charging is working as well. So this is pretty, pretty cool, uh, as I think. And uh, yeah, I know cables and bricks get faster and faster every day, but to have such a good long cable is, I think, essential. So uh, a very good cable, and I really, really like it. I also like the length of it. Just if, if you're in a hotel room or something like this, and you need a longer cable, because they have like somehow a very bad wall plugs somewhere completely different where you want them to be. Uh, I think this might be very, very good option because it has such a long cable and it is very sturdy, it will help hold pretty long. So yeah, uh, what can I say? It's a USB type C to C cable. Uh, that is basically everything. If you are interested in the INEO uh, USB type C cable or cables, because you get two of them, in a box, maybe you can get a single one as well, I'm not sure. I will link you in the description uh, the possibilities where you can get that. And uh, that is basically everything for this video. If you have some questions and uh, uh, some, uh, if you maybe tested one of those cables longer term, you can write down in the comment section what your experience is. And that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.